Alright, hey guys, what's up people and welcome back to my channel. This is the Indian Chinese guy and today is the 12th of February and we are off to this place which is called Shambhala by the lake and this place is located in Kamshet which is about 130 kilometers away from Mumbai. It takes about 2 hours and 45 minutes to reach this place. We have taken a quick stop at this food court which is after the Padvel Tol Naka. So there are two reasons why we are going to this place. A because it's pet friendly and Bella is going to get to enjoy over there. She's going to be unleashed and we just love to see Bella running around the place. Secondly, Kamshet is very famous for paragliding in the entire Maharashtra. Kamshet is the only place where you can go and do paragliding. Hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified for all my future videos. So see you at Kamshed. All right, guys, everybody. Good morning, and we have finally reached Shambhala. This is the place right behind me. Bella is enjoying over here, as you can see. She's unleashed. She's having a great time. We're just going to be doing the check-in procedure right now, and we are waiting for my brother. They just stopped for some breakfast, and they should be reaching over here pretty soon. So I'll just quickly show you the place. The view from the here is absolutely amazing. So guys, just take a view of the lake from Shambhala. This is the view. It is absolutely mesmerizing, stunning. And right behind me is where Shambhala is. So that's where the Shambhala resort is. The weather is amazing. It would be about 20, 22 degrees right now. The air is so pure and fresh and it's feeling so nice. So this is the first time that I've, I'm visiting this place. All right, so now it is lunch time and the buffet has been set. Right now we're going to be having lunch. It's 1 p.m. There's a buffet that has been laid out and it's a vegetarian buffet for lunch and for dinner it's going to be non-vegetarian and after our uh, lunch we're going to be going for paragliding at about 2 30 in the afternoon beautiful kitchen over here very very clean kitchen very beautiful kitchen all right guys so it's about 2 45 in the afternoon and we are currently going for paragliding it's about one hour away from this place. We have an instructor and ahead of us, he's in another vehicle. This is the first time that I'm going to be doing paragliding. Jade is going to be paragliding and Jennifer is going to be paragliding as well. So we're super excited about this. And there are a lot of foreigners who come to this place to learn paragliding as well. They have an institute where you can do a course. And it's not very expensive. It's only about 16,000 for base one then you have base two uh, which is a three day course and uh, base three is again a four day course which is about 20,000 and you can learn how to paraglide solo once you learn the solo paragliding you will be under observation whenever you will be riding uh, flying solo okay so from Shambhala we have come to this particular point and we had to switch our vehicle so I have parked my car over here and we are getting into uh, a different vehicle and they charge about 1200 for a round trip so if you are six of us so that's about uh, 200 per person so 1200 rupees is what you have to pay from here till the launch of uh, till the launch pad of the paragliding thing And there is a 5 to 10 minute trek from here where we have to go on top. So it's about it's about a 10 minute trek from the place where we parked our car and it's quite a climb on top so if you're not physically fit then then it can be kind of tiring 
might run out of breath because I'm already running out of breath. Right ahead of me is where the launch launch pad is. So guys, this is a once in a lifetime experience you have to do paragliding. Uh, we have an instructor over here who is going to be giving us all the instruction necessary for paragliding. Okay. Correct. Correct. Okay. So the wind should be perpendicular to the mountain, not parallel. Okay. Okay. Or दिस इज वेर गोन बी टेकिंग ऑफ फ्रॉम And Bella is enjoying over here. Yeah, Bella. Take a look at this view, guys. This is absolutely unbelievable. Beautiful place. All right, so Jade is getting all ready. She is getting all set to go. Come on, Jade. guys that was an amazing experience it was once in a lifetime experience we really enjoyed it it was a huge thrill and uh, we have finally finished the paragliding and we are going to shambhala back again now so guys this is once again in kamshet it's about 130 kilometers from mumbai if you want some more information about this place i'll leave the link down in the description below so you can check out this place All right guys today is the end of day 1 and it was a wonderful day uh, we just had a fabulous dinner we did have uh, chicken curry we had some rice we had some chapati we had requested for some gajar ka halwa and we got some amazing gajar ka how was the gajar ka halwa it was really good it was awesome the gajar ka halwa was highlight for the dinner I it was the chicken curry was yeah the chicken curry was amazing we also had the paneer and we had uh, Well, some lovely food tonight uh, tomorrow morning at 6:45 we are going to be going for a small trek uh, there's a dam nearby and uh, we're going to be going with sanjay who is the owner of this place he's going to be taking us around and he said that this place is really beautiful you can't miss this place and we're going to be going at 6:45 in the morning so guys we'll see you in the morning all right good morning everybody it's day 2 of our trip we're going for a short trek to this place and it's supposed to be a dam and the location is very beautiful so hopefully we get to see the sunrise from there take some good pictures 
the time is 7 a.m. We are delayed by 15 minutes. We were supposed to leave at 6.45 because of someone eating biscuits. This is the pack. Beautiful morning. Take a look at the view. The weather is beautiful. Temperature must be around 20 degrees. It's a decent trek. All right, we are with uh, Sanjay right now. Hello. Sanjay is the owner of uh, Shambhala by the lake. Sanjay, say a few things about Shambhala. Ah, Shambhala is a dream house for me. It's a paragliding school. Uh, we have uh, Indus paragliding school under which we run the activity. Okay. And the students who come to learn here, they stay at Shambhala. At Shambhala. Well, I saw some uh, guys doing solo trips yesterday. They mm -hmm. were paragliding solo yeah yeah so they were our students yeah so, and one um, of them has come all the way from hyderabad <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. he's come all the way from hyderabad no, no, and he's told he's not told his wife also <laughs> <laughs> he's told his wife he's going for a wedding you know, see in our school people come from all over parts of india and all over parts of world also okay some people come from france denmark everywhere oh wow. english especially because english weather is not predictable right the literally sometimes with the syllabus we finish in 10 15 days okay in uk it takes three months four months because of the weather because of the weather yeah okay we taught uh, indian air force yeah. indian navy indian yeah. coast guard i saw the pictures yeah, over yeah, there yeah, they come here beautiful yeah. amazing yeah. this place is a must visit place i highly recommend this is my first time in fact i wanted to come earlier but then it was booked totally <laughs> and we didn't get an opportunity but this time we said that we have to go and uh, you know we we got we got a place over here hopefully we might uh, get to see a good sunrise this morning and bella is waiting for us over there bella he's melon woman melon woman so now we have come to the second dam and just take a look at this view over here just beautiful just see the reflection of the mountain the water is absolutely still bungalow of shapurji polanji that's the new bungalow that he has made beautiful guys i can't tell you how beautiful this place is and look at bella enjoying we're walking in the middle of the woods see the lake over here it's beautiful. Who's gone in the water, Bella? <laughs> huh? Who told you to go in that water? Look at her. Bella, She's... who's playing in the water, Bella? Who's gone in the water? Bella, gone in the water? Who went in the water, Bella? <laughs> Bella has automatically gone in the water. <laughs> she is so happy. And we didn't even ask her to go in the water. <laughs> Come on, Bella. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Alright guys, so right now we are at this lake which is by the Shambhala. And uh, Bella and we were having a great time. This uh, lake is actually it's not meant for swimming. Uh, they don't allow swimming. But you have to swim at your own risk. And only if you know swimming. I recommend you to come inside this water because it is deep. 
so if you don't know swimming please don't enter the water because there is a sudden dip and then you won't be able to stand inside the water hey guys it's day 2 still and it's about 5 pm we are on our way to go and see the sunset which is about 8 kilometers away from here and then there is a trek of uh, about 15 to 20 minutes so we're going to be taking a car now we're going to be departing in 15 minutes we're going to be going to this place we'll park the car and then there's a trek for 15 minutes isn't this place beautiful so we have already planned that we want to come back over here during the monsoon season we've seen some videos which sanjay who is the owner of this place has shown us and that i mean it's um, unbelievable the waterfalls the ponds the lake at during the rainy season is unbelievable it is next level so we're very excited we will come during august uh, 2021 and we are going to block the dates pretty soon on that and look at this uh, these papayas over here I've never really been the one who's worried Always been the one who's keeping it cool The kind of guy who chill while others hurry I didn't know that I've been the fool I've been telling lies about something real but I know love is based on honesty Keep thinking how real love should feel knowing that it's not just you it's me cuz i was made to be free <laughs> i got you on camera this is going to be on vlog <laughs> this is going to be on my vlog <laughs> Yeah, so we have climbed we walked all the way from here and we have gone to the other side of that mountain and i think we went somewhere on that hill top and it was absolutely beautiful guys we are at shambala by the lake right now and this is a live barbecue happening some barbecue chicken oh yummy take a look at this Bella is also all ready to have the barbecue chicken. Take a look at that. I've always put my feet wherever I want to. Before I saw who I could be. Kept thinking where did I out at 11 o'clock. We just had a breakfast. We had some idlis, we had omelet, uh bread and tea. So it was beautiful. and we're just waiting we're just relaxing a little bit and by 11 o'clock we are going to be checking out but truly guys this place was absolutely amazing my hands down review about this place is that if you are from mumbai or from pune and you have a pet you must visit this place and we are going to be coming back for sure again in monsoon because the the photographs and the pictures that we have seen about this place is mesmerizing and we want to come back again for monsoon so definitely guys this place is uh, should be there on your to do list just see the view over here <clears throat> the lake so calm so still and it's absolutely beautiful that's my choice what i need to be free you are still thinking how we love and to come to such kind of a place you have to travel about 3 hours and this is beautiful so guys that's it from me this is the indian chinese guy signing out if you like this video please click on the like button subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified for all my future videos thank you so much for watching this video and have a good day